how to install Microsoft DPM 2019. First, I'll connect to my DPM server. I'll just Google search SSMS, SQL Server Management Studio, and I'll download it. Run the setup file. I'll install the default locations for this video. Okay, the setup has completed. Now I need to install Hyper-V PowerShell on the DPM server. Open up a command prompt. As the administrator, run dism.exe with this command. It'll automatically restart your server. Do remote desktop back to it. All right. Next, I'll install SQL 2017. I'll go to my DPM server and I'll attach the SQL ISO. Click Installation, New SQL Server Standalone Installation. Click Through. Database Engine Services and Full Text. In the past, you were able to select Reporting Services but now you need to download it from the web and use your install key for your SQL Server or you can do the free edition. Again, default locations for this video and default instance. I pre-created my SQL Server service accounts. Add current user, add my SQL Server service account. And install. Okay, setup has completed. Now I'll install SQL Server reporting services. Install reporting services. Click through. Now I'll configure report server. Just connect. Start with database. Change database. Create a new report server database. Test connection. Next and click through. And we'll go to web service URL and just click apply and it will create the settings for you. And then web portal URL, do the same thing, click apply. And then last thing is click the service account. Change from the default virtual service account to network service account. Otherwise, it will give you an error later when you try to install DPM 2019. I want you to back up the key. I'm just going to do a location here for now. And click Exit. Now we can install System Center DPM 2019. I'm going to change the ISO. Remove SQL and put in DPM 
run the setup file and it will just extract it for you and browse to the folder and run the setup install data protection manager name of your server click on the username and then click check and install okay now click next enter your information in your product key and click next wait for it to install and then you're done and the installation has completed. Now you can use your group policy settings and set up firewall port openings on your clients and servers and back up your endpoints. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.